Okay, after we edit the word UCS, now we need to load the book base. So we need to activate uh, the main assembly by double click it. And then we select the more base, new more base. Okay. And here we need to use is LKM configurations. Okay, and at the beside here, um, under the Simatron catalog, you have the mode uh, design configurations. So you have uh, the, a lot types of configurations mode for mode base. So you can select um, the mode base is suitable for you. So now the exercise I want to use is uh, this LKM configurations. Okay, and then the type we need is uh, this one, CI type. Okay, after that, um, the catalog code is 3035CI and the clearance is 1. And then click OK. After that, next. We can hide the dialog first. Okay. You can see the uh, this the more base thickness. Show. So we need to show the dialog. Okay. And here we can change the um thickness. So the P2 here we change to 90 and then P3 is 80 and the R1 is 120. After that, click next and finish. Okay, this is the more base. Next, we will assign the face. Um, so we need to uh, hide the fixed side, the movable side, and uh, injection system. And we also need to hide the part work and activate this part work. Okay, so we can zoom in. After that, we select the parting quick split, uh, and then this one uh, here is both direction, ignore assign face. After that, we pick here and then select OK. Okay, you can see the model here have three uh, color. The first is blue, pink, and the gray color. The gray color is an assigned face. So we need to uh, assign it. Okay. We can we can open the slider to see it. Okay. This is uh, show the original part. Okay. We can see. Okay. This is the original part. It's like this. Okay. Okay, after that, um, close it first. And then we select here. And here. And here. And this is low face, so we move the mouse to the a blue surface here and then we press middle mouse button it automatically will become blue color okay and then we select this also is blue okay this 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 and this um, and also this one this 
and this one and this one is also blue color okay this this and this is pink color okay after we assign this uh, surface we can open the slider see whether still have or not they are assigned face oh still have so we pick this two and assign it as the pink color face press middle mouse button and this one we go it to put it to a blue color so we can close the quick split okay now we go to parting tree and then um parting line preview so we need to uh see the parting line preview and then we just right click the parting line preview after that uh, we select um create parting line preview okay the parting line preview is uh, for us to know whether we assign it correctly or not uh, so the blue color uh, line is mean is out line outer line uh, sorry it's ex external line okay after that if it's okay and then we need to hide the um, parting line preview so we just click the bar this is step six next we want to create a parting surface part so we go to parting surf and then select parting surface part and the file name is parting surface part okay after that we select ok and this option we select is on assembly UCS and then we can right click select ok next we need to blend and bound the face so we switch to button 3 and at here we need to hide the split 0 1 the blue color okay and then um, make sure the parting surface part is activate and then we go to face blend and we select this two okay right click click apply okay repeat this Okay, and here you can you can see that uh, the line is broke, so we need to uh, join it. Okay, and then uh, we need to bound here, so we need to composite it first. And then we go to face bound this point one. Okay, and then select OK. After that, we go to uh, face modify boundary, and we select this face select ok after that we go to face modify by sketcher select this and this we change to original face remove original we select this point and drag it Okay, and then I see the sketcher. After that, we select the composite. So we uh, select this line. 
and after that we need to trim it now we go to face trim and then we select this middle mouse button and we select the uh, the line just now we composite it okay the flip uh, trim size side is here okay this is the result okay okay after we bound the face <coughs> like this now we need to swipe it so we go to composite curve and we select this H and this okay pointing downward apply this also same okay and the last one at the back here okay after that we go to face swap and this we select along oh, sorry is along x okay we accept the default delta this is along y okay and this also along y mm. along x okay and then we go to uh, composite oh sorry we go to uh, face blend and we select this to edge we blend it okay after that this two okay and you can see this too is the planar space so we can use the composite face to join it with the mouse button select okay and then uh, we need to trim here so we go to composite curve select this apply and then we uh, repeat it for another side okay and then uh, we go to face select trim and then we select this uh, face middle mouse button and then we select the it here okay click apply repeat it for the other side okay mm. and then uh, we go to composite curve we select this here and select this until here apply we need to bound it and then we go to um, face bound apply 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 and adhere select ok 
so this is the result